morning students and welcome you all for our next session of this week. Today, in our last session, we have completed the third lesson of this week, that is religious synthesis. Now, in today's lecture, we are going to discuss and mark the question and answers of workbook of lesson number three. And for that, students, I want each one of you to have your workbook, your textbook, pen and pencil. There are many objective questions for question number 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, when I am marking and giving and discussing, the answers will be there on the screen to students. So, if you can write the answers when we are discussing so that this question 4 from question number 1 to 4 you can complete when we are discussing the answer. So students, be ready with your workbook, your textbook, your pen and pencil and come to page number 22 of your workbook so that we can start with our question and answer. Now students, let's get started. Once again, page number 22 of your workbook. Now come to question number 1. And what is question number 1? Write the related word. I hope everyone is ready with their textbook, workbook, pen and pencil. So this is objective type of question where you can write the answer when I am reading the question and the answer. The answers are there on the screen too. So students see that you complete it now only. Write the related word. See the first one, Sri Basaveshwar in Karnataka. Santa Mirabai. Now when we studied this lesson, we have studied that the Bhakti movement started in various parts of India and in which part was it start it was started by Sri Basaveshwar Karnataka. So here you have to write about Santamirabai in which part of India the Bhakti movement was started by her. So the first answer seeing the first answer is Rajasthan. Write down the correct spelling children when you are writing down the answer. Otherwise, you can pause the video and write the answer afterwards. But see that you are writing it now and completing it here only. Coming to the next one, students. See the second one. Swami Ramananda from North India. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he started this Bhakti movement in Bengal. Write down the correct spelling, students. Come to the third one, Sri Chakradhar Swami. So, Chakradhar Swami, now see, there are two blanks here. Chakradhar Swami, and see the answers that are given. Now, for Chakradhar Swami, you have to write the answer, Maharashtra. And Shankara Deva, we will write the answer, Assam. Yes, students? The two answers are given. There are two blanks for the third question and two answers are given there. Now coming to the fourth one. Guru Nanak, first Guru of the Sikh. And there is a blank there first. And then you have asked to write the name of the tenth Guru of the Sikh. So the answer is given. What is the answer students here? Yes. Guru Gobind. Singh. Okay, Guru Gobind Singh. Write down the correct spelling. Then moving on to the fifth one, Nainaz. Nainaz were devotees of Lord Shiva. And what they have asked here? Alwar. We have to write Alwar were devotees of whom? Yes. This is the answer there. Devotees of Lord Vishnu. 
devotees of Lord Vishnu. Okay. Going on to the sixth one, students. Sri Basaveshwar. So, Karnataka. And then they have asked us for Santa Narsya Mehta. So, we have started this work of Bhakti Moment in Vigilant. Right? So, you have all the answers for all the six questions on the screen. So, giving you some time to look at it. Look at it carefully. Look at the spelling and write down the answer. Students, when you take such type of question in the question paper, so you have to write this full question. Like for example, the first one, Sri Basaveshwar, Karnataka, then Santa Mirabai, Rajasthan. Don't just write the answer Rajasthan in the answer paper. Right? You have to write the full question. Let's proceed further, students, with question number two. And question number two is complete the following name. Now here you have to complete the blanks that is given by writing the letters and completing that word. Okay, the following names that we have learned throughout the lesson. Now come to the first one, students. And see the first one on your screen. At the left there are questions, and at the right there are answers. So for this also, I request you that you are going to complete this question. It is an objective question. It is there on the screen. You are having your workbook. You are having your pen. So try and complete it now only. Question number two, first one, G dash dash dash. And what is the word? It is Guru. Right. So G U R U. So that first word is completed. To the second word. Now how many dash are there? Five. G dash 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 dash. And see on a screen in the answer column there. What is the word there? G O B I N D. Gobind. And the next, they have not given any letter first. So you have to write it. There are five dash there. Eh, dash 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 dash. So see in the answer column. What is the word there? It is S I N G H. Sing. So you have got the complete name. And what is the complete name? Guru Gobind Singh. But some of them must be having a question in their mind that Guru Gobind Singh. But we can also write Guru Granta Sahib. And yes, the same that uh, you are going to have for this name too, that is Guru Granta Sahib. So if you are going to write Guru Gobind Singh or Guru Granta Sahib, both will be correct. Going to the second one, students here. Now see the second one. S dash dash dash. That again S is there and again there is one that. Now see on the screen what is the correct name there that you have to fill in the letters and get the correct name that is Sikhism. S I K H I S M. So you are completing this by writing in your workbook. Moving on to the third one G that that. Dash. Now, what is that word there? Guru. G U R U. And N dash 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 dash. So, Guru Nanak. N A N A K. That is the word. Coming to the fourth one. M dash dash N dash dash dash. And what is the word? That is Manman. M A N M A T A. Man, man. And what is the next word there? 
dash 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 m i. So it is swami. Manmat swami. S w a m i. Hope you are writing it. Coming to the fifth one, m dash 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 i. So what is the word there? Mirabai. M e e r a b a i. Sixth one. R dash 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 N dash N dash. So what is the word there? Ramanand. R A M A N A N D. Okay. Seventh one. Now seventh one is K dash dash R R I dash. So what is the word there? K A B I R. Kabir. Eighth one, P dash dash P. So what is this word? P A N T. Pan. Ninth one, P dash dash A dash B dash dash B dash dash A. And what is the word there? Purandar Dasa. P U R A N B A R D A S A and the last one, the tenth one, N dash 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 N dash dash H dash V. So that word is Mah Maha Anubhav, right? M A H A N U B H A V. And the next word is P dash dash P H. And what is that word here? It is fun. P A N T A. So the answers for complete the following names are: to the first one, Guru Gobind Singh or Guru Granth Sahib, Sikhism, Guru Nanak, Manmat Swami, Mirabai, Ramananda, Kabir, Pan, Purandar Dasa, Mahanubhav Pant. So, in your question paper, if you are going to get complete the following names, that only dash is given, so you are going to fill in that and give the complete name. If it is given to write the answers at the side, then you will write the answer at the side. Okay, is it clear with you, students? Yes. Now we will move on to our third question. Now we will move on to question number three. Answer, students. Question number three. What is the question? Make a chart to show the people and work related to. Now see the first column. They have given bhakti movement, and see the second one, people, and the third one, the work that they did. Okay, now the first column, second column, and the third column. Now, see on the screen. First, the question is given, and below that, the answers to are given of it. So here also, I request you that complete as we are discussing with the answer. Now, see the first column. They have asked for key moment. And the people, people. So here, they have told you to write two names of the person, those who have started the bhakti movement. And here, see the third column, the work that they did, or they piled up about the preachings in the book, and which was then related to the work that they. Or the work that they did. Now, from the lesson, you have to find out the two names of people and the work that they did. So, for bhakti moment, the first answer is Surdasa, and what was his work? Surshagar. See, both you are going to get it on the screen. Write down the correct spelling. Right, the answers are there on the screen. 
you can take a screenshot or you can write it now or you can pause the video and write down your answer but see that you complete the question now the second one people column you have to write tulsidas right now tulsidas and the work that was done by him which is very famous that is ram charitra manas okay ram charitra manas now see the spelling write down the correct spelling of it now we will move on to the second one mahanubhav pant now people so what is the answer there chakradhar swami and the work leela charitra see the spelling given write down we will move on to the third one and that is sikhism now sikhism people who found out this moment was guru nanak after he traveled to many hindus and the muslim holy places he found out this and where all his teachings are piled up in the holy book that was the work of his guru granth sahib right guru granth sahib so in this way the chart is completed so they have given your to write about the people and the work right so for that reading of the lesson and knowing about the moment in the different parts of our country started by whom and what was the work done by them so read your lesson next is question number 4 complete the following diagram students every time we come to such type of question always i tell you see the diagram that is given or will be given in your question paper you have to do it in the same way in your answer paper you will not just write some to trick krishna bhakti and at the side you are going to write down the answer please don't do that follow what is given in the question paper and the same way you have to draw it now see what is the question asked here sun to trick krishna bhakti right so here see studying the spelling and writing the spelling correctly is very important to get the full mark this will be asked for two marks so doing this and writing the spelling correctly is important and for that what you have to do students is yes, you have to learn the spelling you have to read the lesson now see here also towards your left you have in the question and towards the right i have given you the answer this now what you have to do right okay you have the book so try to complete this question too right now see the blanks that are given there okay now i will read out the answers for you now see they have already given you two answers and four you have to write in and what are these two answers that are given that is Shankara Deva and Rakshan, and the four you have to fill in. See on the slide at towards your right side, all the four words are given. And what is the first one towards the top? That is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Okay, and the next is Narsi Mehta. Third, Mirabai, and fourth is Surdasa. so this were the people those who preach about krishna that is they were the bhakta or devotees of krishna right so in this way you have to complete the diagram right so giving you some time to write down and complete it two words are already given 
sorry, I should not say word, but the name of the Santa and the four Santa's name you have to write Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Narsya Mehta, Mirabai, and Sulta. I hope you have completed writing this. So now you have to turn your page and come to page number 24 of your workbook. Come to question number 5 and see what is the question number 5? That is, name the following. Okay? Now see on the screen the answers are there down. But in the workbook you have to write the answers in the space that is provided. Now we are also students. See, when you are writing in the workbook, you are just writing the answers. But when this question comes in the exam, you have to write the full sentence and then on the next line, you are going to write down the answer. Now, coming to the first one. Lay the foundation of Bhakti movement in South India. You have to write the name of that person. And see the answer here, that is Acharya Ramanuja. Okay, so again and again I am telling you the same thing, write down the correct spelling. So answer is Acharya Ramanujna. Write down screen. Moving on to the second one, regarded as the first poet in Gujarati language. And the answer is Narsim Mehta. Narsi Mehta. Okay? Write down. Third one. Compose devotional verses in Rajasthani and Gujarat. What is the answer? Yes. Yeah. Santa Mirabai. Right? The answer is Santa Mirabai. And the last one, coming to the fourth one, author of Lila Charitra. The answer is there on the screen and the answer is Mind Bud. M-A-S-M-H-A-I-N-B-H-A-T. So write it down. Now students, we will move on to question number 6 and for this you are going to need your textbook. So take your textbook and come to page number 11 of the textbook because the answers are there on the screen but I will tell you the page number where you are going to find these answers in your textbook too. So if you are going to mark down and keep. So that will remain with you and then anytime you want to refer and write down your answers afterwards, you can do so. So for that, be ready with your textbook. Come to page number 11 of your textbook. Shall we start? Yes. Question number 6. Answer the following question in one sentence each. Now see the first one. What did the Bhakti movement teach? And for this, I told you, come to page number 11, left side, Bhakti movement, from below, second last line. Bhakti movement, that paragraph, from below, second last line. Now see, you will get this line. They preach values like love of God, humanity, compassion, mercy, etc. But see on the screen how we have started the answer. The Bhakti movement taught values such as love for God and humanity, compassion and mercy towards all living 
thing. So, write your answer to the first answer. Write your answer in this way. Okay. I hope you have got the answer. Now, we are going to question number second. To which things did Santa Kabe not attach any importance? Now, this answer also you are going to take on page number 11. Towards your right side, students, second paragraph, fourth line. Second paragraph, fourth line. So, there also you will get it in your textbook. This sentence starting with P. Right? But how are you going to start writing the answer? Santa Kabi. Instead of he, you will write Santa Kabi. And then your answer is in here. Santa Kabi did not attach any importance to places of pilgrimage, brothel, or idol worship. So till here. Only instead of he, you have to write Santa Kabi. I hope you have marked down the answer or the answer is there on the screen. You can write it down. Now moving on to our third question. What did Guru Nanak realize after visiting many holy places? Right? The places of the Hindus and the Muslims. Now this you have to come to page number 13 of your textbook towards your left side. First paragraph, third line. Now again here, the sentence starts from P, but instead of that, you are going to write, that is, after visiting many holy places, Guru Nanak realized that the feeling of devotion is common everywhere. Or you can even write it in this way. Guru Nanak. This of him will write Guru Nanak. Realize that the feeling of devotion is common everywhere. Now come to question number four. What is that question? What do you know about Harihar? Now. For this student, I want you to write the answer that I have given you and it is there on the screen. Yes? So I want you to write this answer. Harir was a Bhakti sect in South India who considered Vishnu and Shiva as one and same. Their ideal depicted half Shiva and of vision. Yes, students, we first see this answer in the textbook. So, you are not going to take it as a straight answer, and that's why I want you to write this answer, copy down this answer from the screen. But you can do it now, you can take a screenshot, or you can pause the video and write it. I hope I'm clear. The instruction, follow the instruction. This answer you are going to write it. Once again, I'm reading the answer for you students so that you get time to write that. Harir was a bhakti sect in the South India who considered Shiva and Vishnu as one and the same. Their ideal depicted half Shiva and of Vishnu. Now, we will move on to the last question of question number 6. That is, who are the six? Now, for this student, 
again you will have to take page number 13 of your textbook towards your left side second paragraph third line second paragraph third line the followers of guru nanak are known as sikh that is shishyas meaning disciples now see here when you are writing this answer when you are writing the spelling of the person that is guru nanak sikh shishyas so it is going to start with capital letters. The so same way you are going to write it when you are going to write down your answer. Right? So this two answers that is the fourth and the fifth one. So we have completed today altogether six questions that is write the related word question number one. Complete the following names. Question number two. Make a chart to show the people and works related to. Question number three. Complete the following diagrams. Question number four. Name the following. Question number five. And answer the following in one sentence each. That is question number six. Students. Now we still have left with question number 7, state why, give reason. Question number 8, write about each in your own words, that is answer in brief. Question number 9, give information in brief in your own words. And one open-ended question. So this we are going to mark and discuss in our next lecture. Now I request you all. That whatever we have marked down the answers in the textbook and the objective question, see that you complete your workbook and keep your workbook updated. Yes, students, I hope you are going to do that. So, this is all for today, students. Till we meet again in our next session and we are going to discuss and mark down the remaining question. So till then, take care. Thank you.